Mount Antaki, the second highest volcano in Japan, explodes without warning. What's up guys, my name is Dave Wobble and welcome to IO. So have you guys ever seen a volcano erupt? So Mount Antak, it is 3,067 meters high. So it's located 200 kilometers from Tokyo and people go up there for hiking but more importantly this time of year to go check out the different color leaves on the trees. However, over this weekend on Saturday, September 27, 2014, the volcano erupted suddenly without warning. Now it's unfortunate because hikers had no idea what was going on at the time of its explosion. Even Japanese scientists say that the tremors that the region produces were no different than the regular tremors that they get each month. Now so far it's believed that 36 people have died in this explosion, however only 12 have been confirmed. This actually makes Mount Antak the first fatal explosion since 1991, where 43 people were killed from the explosion at Mount Unzen. Now besides local Local fire departments and of course police forces, the self defense force which is Japanese military force have arrived to help out. So far they've brought over 250 troops, 7 helicopters and of course 2 tanks. Now besides the deaths, over 60 people have actually been injured, most of them have broken bones, some might have even been exposed to poisonous and toxic gases that are within the region. So far the search and rescue operation is still looking for 45 people. Now we actually have footage from a hiker who managed to take a video of the pyroclastic cloud. Now it is quite possible that this pyroclastic cloud probably consumed some of the people. Pyroclastic clouds are one of the most deadly results of a volcanic explosion. They are great clouded flow which is a combination of hot rock and hot gases and they can explode up to a hundred kilometers an hour. And you don't want to be in one of those, why? Because they're over a thousand degrees. So far search and rescue teams have fought through ash to look for more survivors. If you look at some of these photos, the whole area looks like maybe some place from another world. I do hope that the search and rescue teams actually find the missing people alive and well. But as for those who are injured and of course those who have been lost, our hearts and thoughts are going out to you and your families. And for those lost, may you rest in peace. Oh yeah, before we close out this video guys, go check out the new movie Jackhammer. In the world of award winning professional male stripping. All you've got is your moves and your balls. You can get your own copy down in the links below. Oh yeah, and it's got Pamela Anderson in it. Oh yeah! So my name's Dave Wapple and thanks for watching here at I.O.